Revolutionary. 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 We are in a moment, folks, that we are here to do some powerful things. Yes. And I'm saying, let's do some powerful things. But let's do it on purpose and let's do it intentionally. Yes. Let's not do it by mistake. Let's do it intentionally. So protesting, uh, marching has been a thing to catapult what change is. So activism, as we put all these beautiful things, what it truly really is, it's really impacting social change. It's impacting social change. That's what we want. We want to impact socially. We want to change things. Not in the Me too. Huge. Huge. Me too. Huge. What did the Me Too movement do? It was really for towards um, geared. It started off with geared towards uh, young black girls who were a victim mm. of, of sexual, sexual. Mm. Yeah. And do we talk about the young black girl sexually assaulted? Now it's more no. about the celebrities. Now it's all about Of course. Because here's the thing about the unfortunate thing about why we always have to collectively hold movements of activism to the people and ground it because sometimes the message gets moved and other people move into the message and the other folks that need to be in front of the message, mm -hmm. they don't even get the message. You got mm -hmm. Tupac said some real stuff. He said, I have to leave the community that I was raised in because I've made too much money that makes the people look at me and say, dang, well, he got all that. I need to get it from him. I'm in a bad position, so I gotta go live with some people that don't like me. You hear what I'm saying? So when we think about the, the patterns that we take in our activism, are we truly really trying to change or are we just trying to stay comfortable? As long as it's not knocking at my door, I'm okay. As long as I'm driving in my car, I'm okay. As long as my bills are paid, I'm okay. The difference between what activism is from now to then, people said this, I am willing to lose my life, go to jail, get beat, starve, boycott whatever I need to boycott to make social change, and I'm gonna be okay with that. And if we ain't ready to sacrifice, you ain't ready to activate your activism. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have this new movement <coughs> called Build Black. It's about a movement, not a moment. And what Bill Black is, is very intentional. Because I drive down Stockton Boulevard. What y'all see when y'all drive down Stockton Boulevard? Ooh, say it again. Vietnam. And I'm not mad at him. It's got a sign that says, I'm not mad at him. I love it. I celebrate. Let's celebrate our people. When it's the sign is good enough, you can see it. Absolutely. When you go down Franklin Boulevard, what you see? Hispanic. Say it again, Queen. Hispanic. Say it one more time. Hispanic. Let's give them another. Let's give them a big hand. Y'all don't be haters. They done activated they what? They activated their activism. Because they wasn't sitting around here saying, you know what, I'm going to wait for someone to give me something because they feel like it. They say, I'm coming to this country as an immigrant. I do not speak the language. And, and I got some other folks that's going to come over here that don't speak the language. And this American society has already gave me the middle finger. So guess what I'm going to do? I am going to create something for my own people. We got to be the example that we want to set for our young people. That's right. You know what's so funny is when you ask these young black kids in school, what was their first impression of blackness? What do they usually say? Right. Or what do they usually say? Right. Slavery. Mm -hmm. Slavery. Mm -hmm. In 2018, our black youth are saying that, oh, where we started, we started from slavery. Not kings and queens. Not knowing that there was a black man that had the most money in the world. Not knowing that. Not understanding any of those 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 real self-esteem boosting right, right. historical moments that they were involved with, because that's they they that's they melon, that's their bloodline. They don't even get that. So automatically a kid is already even defeated. 
off top because he's looking at a person who's a white person that's in a dominant position. Say who's found everything. But when you go into history and you do your history, because they ain't gonna give you your history, you find out we done created so much dang things, you be like, wait a minute. I thought he even the cars we drove was created by a who? A black man. GPS. But 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 who gets the credit? Four. So 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 you guys have to really understand. Like this activism. Like what we're here for, we serve a purpose because if we do not identify with the own trials and tribulations of decades of decades of people fighting, of protesting and marching for solutions, for equity, for equality, for peace of the pie, for dismantling the system, for creating social change that not only will elevate black people, but will elevate all people because every great black fight becomes a fight for other people. Look at the dreamer situation. That's a fight that we help lift. We have to understand in this moment, we must stay clear off the idea of defeat. We must stay clear off the idea of thinking that being comfortable is the way to heaven. We must think about it as I do not get comfortable and if I don't make people uncomfortable, I'm not doing my job as activating my activism.